The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. A Memorial Day get-together for you here at the ballpark between the Norfolk Tides and the Louisville Bats. So striding forward now, Richie Martin. He will lead this one off today. On oh, a nice changeup that time gets him to swing right through it as the leadoff man is down on strikes to open up the ball game. Nathan William. Three and one. One out, nobody on. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. At the plate, D.J. Stewart, and he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Outside, two and one. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. Now the three and two pitch. Ground ball to second. This could be two. One there. Related Dietrich, and they turn the double play. That's how the inning comes to a close. So striding in, Michael Ciani. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And the pitch on two and one. Line down the left field line. But this will be foul. Here's a fly ball well hit. Right fielder is on the run. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. So stepping in, Christian Colon. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. Into the windup, here's the 2-1 and one pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Takes this the other way to right. But he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up Travis Jankowski next. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Williams will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move. And that ends the inning. That'll bring in the versatile Pat Valaika. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And the throw is there to record the first down. Ready now, Stevie Wilkerson. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Well, if you're looking for pop, he definitely has more pop, more home run potential hitting from the left side. This is his power side. Down low, two balls and a strike. Back up. The, oh, no, that got him. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. That is good. The left field. At the plate, Cedric Mullins lifted the other way out to left center. Long run for the center fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Standing in, Ryan Mountcastle looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. And he lays off again. Ball three. Chance Cisco would be next. Hit hard towards center. In there, a base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Standing in now, Chance Cisco. Hit down the third baseline. 
Here's the two and two. Willie Yan would be next if they can keep this inning alive. He set the payoff pitch. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. So here's the cleanup hitter, Derek Dietrich. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner. Two and two. Fouled off. And he fouls this one off. On the ground to the right side. And there's one down now. Settling in now, Jonathan India. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Bottom of the second here with no score. Grounded back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. Batting fit. The designated hitter, Gavin. At the plate now, Gavin LaValle. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Everything this guy throws moves. And that two-seamer has a mind of its own. Hit on the ground to third. A dive. He's got it. To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. At the plate, Willie Yon. And he'll start out their half of the third. Top of the order to follow. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. The back, number one. Good stop. In now, Richie Martin fouled away. Jan aboard here at first with nobody out. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. Stepping into the box, Mason Williams reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Center fielder on the run, and this will get all the way to the wall now. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. Now batting. Number 24. Into the box now. DJ Stewart. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And it's gone. Stepping in now, Pat Valaika. Inside corner called to strike one and two. Lays off two and two now. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. Trying to send him packing for the second time. High in the air down the right field line. And no one will track it down. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed. Then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Jankowski is there and he makes the catch for the out. Now batting Stevie Wilkerson. Stevie Wilkerson. 
Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. And it's fouled away. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now, three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And that's the second out. Digging in, Cedric Mullins. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 3-2 pitch. Well struck down the right field line. But just fouls as he just misses extra bases. Payoff pitch one more time. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Leading off the inning, Tyler Stevenson. And they'll need him to get something going here. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. And that misses two and two. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Stepping up to the plate, Stuart Fairchild. Four hits already in the series through seven at bats. A ball and two strikes now. To two balls and two strikes now. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. Fouled off. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Hard hit ball to second. Right to him. And there are two away now. So coming to the plate, Alfredo Rodriguez. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Sent on the ground out to second. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Striding into the box, Ryan Mountcastle. He reached on a single in his first try. He's set. Here's the three and two. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down or he won't be out here very long. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the catcher, Chance Sisko. Hit softly on the ground to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Digging in to try it again. Willie Young. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Two balls and a strike. Two out, nobody on. All even now, two and two. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Coming to the plate now, Michael Ciani. He flew out in his last at bat. Now the one and one pitch. Misses, ball two. Name of the game out on the mound is to disrupt timing of the hitters in the box. He certainly got this guy on the defensive. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And this one is gone. A home run. Into the box, Christian Cologne. 
drilled to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Into the box now, Travis Jankowski. Fly down in his first at bat, so it'll make him 0 for 1 so far. The 1 1. Late square, and this is popped up. Hess is there, and he'll bring this one in. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Derek Dietrich. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this inning without any further damage. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Justin Schaefer, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Number 51. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Richie Martin. Count is full. Here's the pitch. And a good eye here as he takes ball four. And it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Now in the box, Mason Williams. Hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. And the runner back in standing. Two one. Here it is. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. The two two. Sharp ground ball to third. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Now that is number 24. To the plate now, DJ Stewart turned on down the line. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. Now a slider can't make it back to that outside edge, and that takes the count to two and two now. Looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. Now the three and two pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Pat Valaika. Oh, for two for him to this point. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. So far this season, Malika is holding on to a batting average way down in the 210s. Matty, he struggled against right-handed pitching all season long, but he just needs a few knocks today, maybe to get the confidence going. I don't think this is a norm for this ball player. In comes Jankowski. He can't get there as it falls in. The relay, and this will come in far too late. He's in there at third. The second baseman, Stevie. At the plate now, Stevie Wilkerson. And he swings here and sends one in the air deep down the right field line. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. The batter, number 31. So now to the plate, Cedric Mullins. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. From the belt, the pitch to two balls and two strikes now. Good take right there. He's given him a great battle with guys in scoring position. We'll see who's going to win this duel. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Into the box, Ryan Mountcastle. One for two. He singled and struck out in two trips. Mountcastle. Hit high in the air down the right field line. Jankowski's on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning.
set now for the bottom of the fifth. Standing in, Jonathan India. He singled his last time up. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. So he froze him for the strikeout. Jonathan India has retired for the first out in the bottom half of the fifth. Count is one and two now. Here's the pitch. Swing and a flare hit toward right. And that's in there. Base hit. Now back. Hector. Tyler. In now, Tyler Stevenson. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Three and one to him now. Now a chopper to second. This will be a tough turn. There's one. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Digging in for his second at bat, Stuart Fairchild. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 2 1 home. A runner on first with two away. Now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it'll wind up first and second here at the plate. Alfredo Rodriguez waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. And that'll bring up the catcher, Chance Cisco. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. He pulls this one into right. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first down. Now at the plate, really? Willie Yan. He'll look to Yon. bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Hit the other way out toward right field. Jankowski's there for it. And that's the third out. Leading off the inning, Michael Ciani. And they'll need him to get something going here. The last at that, Matty D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Christian Colon. He was a ground-out victim last time up. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. Throw gets him. Two down. Digging in. Travis Jankowski. The 1-1. Time to wake up the offense right here. 3-1 count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. Lifted in the air to center. 
Center fielder giving chase, but he won't get there. It falls in. Throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Lucas Sims is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Into the box, Mason Williams. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Just a bit low. A tough call, but it's two and two. The pitch. And he fouls this one off. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. Now to the plate, DJ Stewart is working on a one for three thus far. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Bullet back up the middle. Siani is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. The bat, number four. Next will be the designated hitter, Pat Valaika. It was an RBI Valaika. single for him in his last plate appearance. Good pitch on the black. That was the sinker for a strike. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. For the traditional Brandon Klein will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Brandon. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Derek Dietrich, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Throw to first is in time for the first out. India. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Lazy fly ball out to center field. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Now back, the designated hitter, Gavin. Stepping in now, Gavin Lavalley. Just off the outside as he can't catch the corner. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a three-one count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around it? Fouled away. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. So digging in now, Tyler Stevenson. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Right fielder is on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Digging in and looking for more. Yeah, Stuart Fairchild. No two field. outs and two runners aboard runners. here in the seventh inning. Fairchild. The one two. Takes this the other way to right. Stewart is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Ready to begin the eighth. Ready for another chance. Stevie Wilkerson. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. Ball three. Well, that's a nasty breaking ball right there. Backdoor slider. Just missed the corner. As they say, that's a Hall of Fame pitch. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Hot shot down the line. But a foul ball. 1 and 2 the count now. Right. 
And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. At the plate, the Ryan Mountcastle. He's got a hit in Ryan three at bats to this point. Now the three and two pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. And he'll get in there safely. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And next to hit is the catcher, Chance Sisko. This is pulled into right. Jankowski is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Ready for another shot now. Oh, Willie Yon. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now the one and one pitch. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Ready once again, Alfredo Rodriguez. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 1-1 one, one home. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Michael Ciani. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. Fastball laid off well below the knees. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Around second now and headed for third. And he's in there at third with a one out triple. Now batting. The second baseman. Chris Gale. Into the box now. Go Christian Colon. Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. Throw gets him, two down. Stepping in, Travis Jankowski. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at bat. Yeah, I'm not sure what they saw right there. Maybe the first base coach was giving him the green light to go ahead and go to second base, but obviously it didn't work out in that situation. It did take a good throw to get him, though. The one two. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And they show a little life here as the lead shrinks to 6-2 now. Hunter Harvey enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for Norfolk. Number 56. Standing in now, Derek Dietrich. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. Again a 1-2. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Williams will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Amir Garrett enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Striding in once again, Richie Martin. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And with his speed, he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. Garrett is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. 
Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. And, oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Now at the plate, Mason Williams. So far, two for three in this one. The 3-2 pitch. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Striding in, D.J. Stewart, who comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. He pulls this one into right. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Martin rounds third and is digging for the plate. Safe at the plate as they push the lead to five now. Now that the designated hitter to the plate now, Pat Valaika. Good battle. Count remains full. Another full count pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Digging in the switch hitter, Stevie Wilkerson. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1-1 home. Popped him up. And there's the second out as he squeezed in the coach's box. Now about it. Digging in, Cedric Mullins. He went down on strikes last time up. The 1-1 home. Is a slider that misses below the zone. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. And there's strike three, so we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. Digging in once again, Jonathan India. Two hits in three at-bats for him in this one. A bouncer up the middle. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. The batter, the dedicated hitter. Yeah, At the plate now, Gavin LaValle. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. He's ready now, the pitch. Nobody out, runner on first. Swing and a looper to left. In comes the left fielder. Oh, and a great diving catch for the first down. And this throw gets away from him. Into the box now, now Tyler Stevenson. Victor. He's hitless in Tyler. three at-bats to this point. The 1-1. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Runner at first here, one man out. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Got him. Now back, left fielder. Stewart. There's guy on. Now the one and one pitch. Nope, that's No reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. Set. Here's the 3-1. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. Lofted in the air out toward right center. He makes the catch and they bounce back here to take the finale and earn a split of this four game series as this one is over. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. 7-2, to two, the final score this afternoon. Norfolk led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. David Hess takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. R.J. Alaniz was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. 
So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Our final line score, first for the victorious tie, seven runs on nine hits. No errors, they left nine runners on base. For the bat, two runs, nine hits, one error, they left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 21 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.